Come on in, guys. Kansas, come to California. We did. All right. Again, we're back. We're again. We're back. All right. Uh, a miracle out of nowhere. Personally, I don't think Kansas is nowhere, but was it at that time? <laughs> it was. It was uh, musically and music business-wise. That's kind of how we referred to it. We were in a you know in a band trying to make it in the music business where there was no music business. So. And what were you thinking at the time? That you were pretty yeah, what good. What were we huh? thinking? I think that's a good question. What were they thinking? That could be the name of the documentary maybe. <laughs> what were they thinking? That's a subtitle. Uh, yeah. If you when you trans yes. yeah, when you translate it into another language or something. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's just where we had grown up. Robbie was from there, I was from there, we went to high school together, and that's we formed the band out of high school. Were you the original high school marching band? No marching band, no, no. no. Just sitting around band? A violin and a marching no, band? No, that doesn't no work. Violin right. and the marching band. No, no drum set either, so. Oh, that's true. No, sorry. No, that's all right. That's okay. Okay, so was, the, was this your brainchild? Uh, well, uh, coming it, back together, revisited? Yeah, it was just kind of something that came up and we talked among ourselves and kind of made it happen. Bud Carr, the producer, introduced us to Charlie Randazzo, who's the director. And that's kind of what got the thing off the ground once we had these two guys involved. So. And how long have you known each other? Well, you've known each other. Well, Bud was our manager for many years. Oh. And, uh, and then he and I have stayed in touch. And we just met Charlie at the beginning of the project. So he came on board and we've become almost friends. Almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost friends. Okay. Where, where is the movie showing here in Santa Barbara and when? Uh, it's at uh, Libero Theater uh, t Monday night at 7 o'clock. Excellent, and that's a great theater to have it in. Oh, yes. it, it's, it's gorgeous theater. We're very excited. It was very happy that Roger said this is where it should be. Yeah. As you know, probably, we've had some millions of dollars of renovation in that theater recently. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Are you a musician as well? No. Why, why were you excited about reproducing this, or producing it, I should say? Well, Phil and I talked about three years ago, and, and, and the story is a good story. Uh, it's it's kind of not, you know, if you don't sit down and tell it, then, you know, it's gone. And it was, it was you know, our idea to kind of get in the same room and, and have these guys tell how it happened and tell the story. And to have somebody be able to, you know, interview the guys the way Charlie did and get it down on film and, and then have the opportunity to actually have people see it. Um, we've been uh, very excited about that. The, 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 lots of the fans are very interested in having it. And those people who only knew Dust in the Wind or Carry On, kind of going, those guys were from Topeka, you know, and so, you know, they'll get a chance to look at it. And the other thing that we talked about is that there are kids today that are forming bands, and they may be from who knows where and think they can't make it. Well, if six guys from Topeka, Kansas can make it, you know, keep it together, you can do it too. So. That's terrific. That's very inspiring. What is your favorite part about the film? <laughs> My favorite part? There's Very so, favorite. There, there's so many Very favorite parts. <laughs> Phil's interview? Oh, boy. Yeah, right. I love the Steven <laughs> Tyler story, which is very funny. You'll, you'll well, tell us about it a little bit. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to give it away. It just. It just. They were on the road with Steven Tyler, and that's a really and it great. A big argument. A big fight. Yeah, big argument. Oh, it's really that. funny. <laughs> it's great. I, a big argument and a big fight. But I don't know if there. I have a favorite part. I. The whole thing. I really love the the journey that they. They, they talk about and um, the band house. I mean, there's so many things. I was a musician as well, so to knowing what what they went through throughout their career, living together and, and being together, and and then making it, um, it's just such a great story. It is very inspiring, and like Bud said, for young people to see this and believe that they can make it, I think. Uh, it's a real. It's a wonderful story. Good for you guys. Now you're a rock star in a tuxedo, and you look very much like you used to look. I don't usually look like this. Um, <laughs> this is. I somebody said you know that it was going to be one of those black tie affairs, so I thought well, no tie, but everything else maybe. Yeah, no, you're you're looking so I great. Found a friend who had six of these in his closet, and he said, "Do you want to borrow one?" I said, "Yeah." <laughs> Now, do you play music in the film as well, or do we just see old clips of the band? Uh, no, there's is, is there a, well, there's there's some music in it, is there not? There's well, no, I mean, in, in the clips or whatever, but I mean, because I haven't seen all of it there's, yet. There's there's old clips of us playing, okay. obviously. Yeah, there's, actually, there's actually a film clip that no one's ever seen of the the showcase that they did for the record label when they got signed. Wow, 
it's, 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 it's for me. I mean, I I wasn't there when that happened. They were there. They gave away free beer. A bunch of people came, and and uh, so they get to see it. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, that's the exciting. The Ellingwood piece is amazing. <laughs> I always like these interviews when people find out okay. for the first so, time yeah. ever. Did you see that? He said, yes. that's in the movie? You yes, know, yeah, like, I love that. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah, I love that too. All right, well, thank you for stopping by and, and talking with me. Congratulations. It's a world premiere, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, congratulations. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.